Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain using Django API REST framework get method, how to bind data dynamically into a checkbox and a radio button elements. And here we got the final output of our React.js application. Populate data dynamically into a checkbox and radio button using Django REST API get method. And this is the REST API country contains CID and CNAME. And this data we are getting from PHP MySQL database. India, USA, and Australia. I can uncheck and as well as one, two, three, the country IDs for the radio buttons. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous React.js tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. If you notice in this browser contains a API which is a Django REST framework API. Up below is a get method contains some data in a JSON format. And this JSON data I'm calling from the PHP MySQL database, the table name is a country contains two columns, CID and CNAME. And CNAME column contains a country names and CID column is an auto generated column. And this is the result we got here. Now my aim is I want to call this get method to bind data into a checkbox and a radio button elements in React.js component. But before creating a new React.js component, to call this API, I'm binded or populate the data into a radio button or checkbox elements. First, we need to configure the Django applications in settings.py page to access the React.js application. So for that, let's open course headers. And from the search results, I'm selecting the first option, Django course headers. And here we got that package, the version is 3.6.0. And this package is free to use, so we don't require any license. So first we need to install this package to access the React.js application. Let's copy this command. And this command, the course headers, allows user resource to be accessed on the other domains. So we can communicate with the other domains with this help of course headers. So let's copy this command. And here is a Django application. If you don't know how to create a Django REST framework API, or if you want to learn, you can find many tutorials on Django REST framework tutorial series in my channel playlist. And this is a Django application. REST Framework API, this is our API link. Now open settings.py. In the settings.py, first, come to the terminal. I'm pasting that command which I have copied, enter. And after I install this course headers, next, we need to configure in the settings.py page in our Django application switch over to this course headers website we need to add this line course headers in the install underscore app section in install underscore app section i'm pasting that course headers course headers and after that in the middle way we need to copy this one this bottom line we already got here Django middleware common at the top we need to paste that thing and after that the last important step the configuration the course allowed origins so let's copy this one this command I have copied and I'm pasting in our settings.py page you can add anywhere I'm adding here about the templates section 
And notice here, here we got some default URLs or domain names. So let's delete these default domain names which, you don't, which we don't require. But here we need to add our React.js domain or URL. The React.js local host is 3000. That's it. Let's save this file. Save all. After that, make sure python manage.py run server. Make sure we have to run always our service. So I have just run the command python manage.py run server. So our service is active now. After that, I have created one new React.js application in Visual Studio Code. So notice here the application name is first app. And app.js, which is a default component of our application. So what I'm doing, I'm creating a new component in our project source folder. Right click the source folder, new file, and the file name is checkbox radio.js is my JS file. Let's close this app.js file. Now in this JS file, we can create the React.js component. In React.js, we can create two types of components. One is a class component and the second one is a functional component. But before creating a React.js component, we need to import the React class from the React library. So let's import that one first. Import React or is capital from React component. After that, I am defining a functional function. It's a functional component. The component then this function I'm exporting default my component name chk radio and this function return I'm adding the div element which is the root element of our component after that we can access multiple HTML elements between these div tags in the h1 populate data dynamically into checkbox and radio button h3 react.js using django rest api Rest API get method. After that, I'm adding one simple horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, I'm adding one simple input element. The type of this input element called checkbox. And I'm also adding one more input type, which is a radio. Now, before adding the REST Framework API into this application, React.js application. Let's save this file. We'll check the output, the deep basic output of this application. Let's save this file, save all. Now, in order to run our component on the browser, we need to configure our component in index.js file. And that file will be available in our project source folder. This is an index.js file. Open that one. If you notice in this index.js file, the render method contains a join tables, which is my uh, previous domain uh, component name. So I'm deleting that one. Instead of that, I'm adding my component name, which is chk radio. And I'm importing my component here. That's it. Let's save this application, save all. Now we'll check the output. Go to view and terminal. And here we got our terminal. If you notice the path is d, d colon rest react web api, which is of project folder name. Inside this project, I have created my react.js application. So first let's add my react application to this path. First api, enter. After that, we can able to run our application 
For that, we need to use a command called npm nugget package manager start. And here we got the output of our application. Now it is the headers, header tags of that horizontal line, and below the horizontal line, we got the checkbox control and one radio button. Let's make this, uh, let's put this in the center tag. Uh, switch over to the component, add the center tag, and I'm closing the center tag after the radio element. Now let's save this application after I save this file compiled successfully let's check the output so now we got everything in the center of the browser now let's bind or populate this api country names here in the checkbox and the radio button element and now here i'm creating one variable constant variable which contains an array country names country names and get country get country is equals to I'm adding use state and notice when I add the use state this component is added automatically used state. the hooks use state hook is added automatically this is a method inside this method I'm adding array because we have more than one country name, more than one record. After that, I'm adding one more method called use effect method. Curly brackets. Notice here when I add the use effect method, it's added here. After that, this use effect method, I'm adding the fetch method. The fetch method contains the input request info, the first parameter text. That request info we are getting from this API. So let's copy this API and paste here, then comma. Again, we require the curly brackets. Now, we require that JSON headers. The first one is a method is get. After that, I'm adding the headers between curly brackets. In the headers, the API, the content type is the application forward slash JSON. So let's add that one here. And this content type we must put in the single quotes as well as the application forward slash JSON also then dot dot then method json response is an object json response dot json type json method for that i'm adding one more then here i'm adding this get country get country json response one more variable i am adding get country json response that's it and after that we need to call this country names for that we need to use the map method between curly brackets we need to close this curly bracket after the radio element country names this country names object i'm adding dot map method in this map method i'm adding the value uh, result you can add any value here result curly brackets and this curly brackets I'm closing after the radio element. And then the return type now inside the return type we need to add the development. So make sure for every return 
methyl contains a root element which is a dew, the parent element. Now after adding the dew root element, now here I am adding the value between curly brackets result dot C name, the column name of the this column name after that and also to display the the country names result dot c name c name and percent and bsp and bsp now notice when i save this file save all here compiled successfully let's check the output i'm reloading the browser see here we got india us and australia now let's add um, the radio button also the value result dot c name let's copy this one this is the one i want to display here i display i want to display the um, country ids in the radio button so i'm adding cid instead of country names i want to add the country ids in the radio button let's save this file save all Compile successfully, we'll check the output. See here, one, two, and three. Now, when I click India, it's working perfectly. For the checkbox, I can check or uncheck. If you notice for the radio button, when I click the radio button, see it's selecting all the radio buttons. Now, we make this radio button in the group. For that, we need to add the property called name here the name you can add anything uh, i'm adding the country let's save this file save all compile successfully we'll check the output i'm reloading the browser and here we got the final output of our react js application popular data dynamically into a checkbox and radio button using django rust api get method and this is the REST API country contains CID and C name. And this data we are getting from PHP MySQL database. India, USA, and Australia. I can uncheck and as well as one, two, three, the country IDs for the radio buttons. That's it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.